Thank you all for coming and stay so late. I'm the last presenter of today's event. And uh, hopefully you have uh, obtained uh, uh, useful information for your future career and also for the study. And what I'm going to do today is to give a really brief introduction to where I'm from and uh, why NCHU is a good place for you to choose. So this is the main gate. And uh, as you can see, it's also located in Taichung City. So we are close to Providence and also Donghai University. And um, you've heard a lot about uh, why you stay in Taichung City, because it's a good city to stay. And the other thing is, um, um, NCHU is a comprehensive university. It was established in 1919, so we have celebrated our 101 anniversaries uh, just uh, uh, two days ago. And the main campus uh, is uh, about 53 acres. So of course, it's uh, smaller than Tonghua University, uh, Tsinghua University. However, we have uh, 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 several uh, experimental forest station and the total acreage counts for the second largest campus in Taiwan. So uh, if you have any opportunity to visit Huisun and also uh, uh, Dongshi, the uh, forest experimental station, you're very welcome. We have currently uh, over 1,000 faculty members and uh, th uh, about 14,000 students among those uh, 70, about 78, uh, 780 students are foreign students. Uh, those foreign students in include international students and those overseas Chinese. And uh, we also have two affiliated senior high schools, uh, include uh, Taichung Senior Agricultural Vocational High School and also uh, Senior High School of NCHU. So both of them are in, tai in Taichung City. And uh, why choose uh, NCHU? Uh, overall academic com competencies uh, compared to uh, the other universities, uh, uh, Zhongxin is about like uh, in the uh, mid uh, range. However, we have the best uh, agricultural sciences research in Taiwan. And that uh, from this uh, graph, you can see that uh, including plant and animal science, agricultural science, and also the uh, physics, those are among the uh, top ranking uh, research area in, in, at NCHU. And about the globalization, we have uh, signed up the uh, programs or like a collaboration with uh, several uh, international uh, famous universities, including the dual degree with uh, uh, Kansas State University's um, uh, doctoral program of uh, veterinary medicine. And also the dual degree master program with uh, to uh, Toyota uh, Technology a technological institute in Japan, and we also have a specialized program called Tri-Continental Master Program in Global Studies. Those uh, is uh, NCHU collaborating with uh, university from uh, Germany, and also the Mexico. So the students uh, spend one semester in uh, one continent, and then at the last semester, uh, they will complete their study um, and uh, get the degree from three universities. And also we have the dual degree program with the best agricultural university in France, that's uh, AgroParis Tech. And we are, uh, in addition to that, we have uh, international master and bachelor programs of agriculture. Um, so all of those uh, programs, uh, that's just like uh, examples of uh, uh, international collaborations. Uh, we also have other programs that are ongoing. And as the international students by nationalities, at this moment, we have about 400 international students. Uh, among those, Indian counts about 39. That's uh, only 10%. So we have a lot of room to uh, increase the, by number and also the, the student uh, uh, composition. But uh, those uh, 39 students, uh, um, 33 of them are in PhD program. And uh, by college, uh, those Indian students among 50% of the Indian students are in our College of Agricultural and Natural Resources. It means that they choose the best uh, 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 college and then also the research area at NCHU to uh, pursue their PhD degree. And uh, similar to Tsinghua University, we also offer a lot of uh, scholarship. Um, 
Taiwan government scholarship uh, from MOE Mo, um, Foreign Ministry, uh, Foreign Affairs, and also the uh, most. And the other thing is, we also uh, most of the students at NCHU obtain the scholarship, uh, uh, NCHU scholarship to cover their stipend and also uh, tuition. And in addition to that, we have uh, one uh, uh, elite scholarship that um, offers uh, uh, lecturers and assistant professors from uh, uh, southbound countries, especially like India and other countries, uh, where they come to NCHU to pursue their uh, PhD degree. And those are new. Uh, with all the details, we uh, I will refer uh, the to visit our website. And uh, we also have the uh, TIGB programs for uh, uh, molecular and uh, biological agricultural research, and also the ICDF program. So at this moment, uh, we have over 70 international degree seeking students uh, who have been awarded with scholarship, either full scholarship or partial scholarship. So uh, consider this a number. I think this is a pretty good package for uh, international students who would like to pursue their advanced degree in Taiwan. And at uh, staff in uh, Office of International Affairs, of course, we arrange a lot of activities for the students. And this is uh, one of the pictures uh, taken from the uh, parade who ha uh, uh, that ha uh, happened in our uh, university anniversaries. And in addition to that, we, uh, we have a career talk uh, from uh, for students uh, and also we have a uh, cultural events and this is the celebration for the for our anniversary uh, including like a parade costume p competitions so on and so forth and we also arrange a uh, field trip and uh, cultural experience and also we have the international week for students can share uh, international students to share their uh, culture with uh, local students so all the international students at NCHU are entitled to learn uh, what's good for their life and also for their career. And as you have learned from the previous talks that language is a very important component for you to be able to stay and also to, fi to find a job in Taiwan. Therefore, we offer uh, several different levels of uh, Chinese courses, including the practical Chinese one and two, and uh, evening Chinese courses. So those are free for international students. We also have a, a, a on-campus uh, language center that offer intensive Chinese courses. So uh, if you are interested in learning Chinese, uh, you are free to sign up and pay the fee. And at this moment, uh, from what I understand, most of the inter, uh, Indian students uh, at NCHU uh, have the basic skill of uh, Chinese uh, communication. So that is the, a good way for them to uh, communicate with uh, students and also uh, to be able to find their uh, job or even part-time job in Taiwan. Okay, and we also have the volunteer program for the, uh, for the international students to reach out to uh, local high school. And also we have the on-campus bilateral symposia and uh, for the students who will be able to reach out to their local students and also to their uh, faculty member from their home country. And the other thing is we arrange, uh, we offer the opportunity for the uh, especially the PhD, uh, senior PhD students to go back to their home country to promote NCHU. Uh, and uh, this is the way to help them reach out to their, uh, to their uh, fellow people in order to not only to promote NCHU, but also to promote themselves. Okay. And this, uh, we have already, uh, we have students uh, from the Philippines and also Heidi who have done this work. So in addition to the volunteer program, we also have the job fairs, uh, including the Korea Talk International Job Fair and also the Taiwan Contact. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm so glad Rush is here because he's an NCHU alumni. He got a PhD from NCHU and now he's a faculty member at uh, uh, Providence University. So he's a very successful example for me to stand here and then introduce him. <laughs> and he has actually uh, done a career talk uh, to the fellow students at NCHU just to tell us how he got his job from the industry and now he's in Providence University. Okay, 
And uh, last, uh, uh, the final point, but not the last one, is the TA program that we have uh, actually established about uh, two years ago to help international students at NCHU to reach out to the local students. And this is the way not only to learn the skills in teaching, but also help them to connect to the local people. And you, because uh, as you may know, uh, a lot of the job opportunity actually comes from the people you have prior contact to. Okay, so uh, this TA programs uh, offers a uh, 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 link the, uh, court, the lecturers who have uh, uh, teach the courses in English and also the undergraduate level lab courses and also the general courses. So that will be arranged in uh, the priority comes from, uh, goes for, uh, from the English talk courses to the lab course. And uh, the requirement, one of the requirement is the minimum student number needs to be at least 20. So it uh, means that uh, one international TA in the course will, ha will have the opportunity to interact at least 20 students in the class. So that, uh, not o that of course, they are paid uh, for this uh, TA, uh, for being a TA, but uh, in the meantime, they have the opportunity to interact with local students and also interact with the lecturers who have who may not be in your uh, program but uh, who has uh, been the lecturer or has been the uh, prof uh, the teacher for the courses you have taken and this um, the number of the uh, courses from uh, colleges and also the number of TA uh, are listed here and as you can see starting from 2018 uh, full semester uh, right now we have uh, already have uh, 140 TAs being awarded uh, between the five semesters and uh, from my personal point of view because I started this uh, TA program and um, what I can see now is uh, the international students on campus have uh, grown not only their uh, their connections and also the, uh, the interaction with the local student. They also have grown confidence in their communication skill and also uh, they, they get the money for the, for the job they have done. So uh, to, to the, uh, in terms of the cultivation and also the training program, I think the TA program has done uh, pretty well in the past uh, three, five semesters. And uh, because of this, uh, because of the success, uh, we will increase the number of TA that's being uh, offered in the next few years. Okay, so uh, in, at NCHU, even though we don't have that many uh, Indian students, not as many as, the, uh, as in Tsinghua University, but we also have an Indian Student Association and they will have the Diwali actually next week for the celebration, uh, but it's a small gathering, about like 50 to, 50 to 100 students. Uh, those are Indians in Taichung City. But uh, if you have uh, like uh, friends at NCHU and you would like to visit Taichung, you're very welcome to apply. <laughs> okay, so that's all I wanna say for now. And then thank you all for staying so late and hopefully you have a successful life in the uh, in next few years thank you